Hi, I'm Julia Kais with Managing Partner and Business Coach at Action Coach Tampa Bay. If you've ever said, man, I know I need to write a business plan, but I don't have time for that and they take too much time, you are not alone and yet these are the things that actually make business owners more effective for driving more free time as well as more profit. If you aren't regularly writing business plans, you probably noticed that one, you're acting reactively all the time, being pulled into distractions and what other people say is a priority or say is urgent at that moment. We call it the shiny penny syndrome. You chase a shiny penny that ends up realizing it's just a penny, not a million dollar idea. Um, you're probably also operating your business without a GPS. Imagine if you got into your car and you tried to go somewhere without your GPS. It'd be very hard to know where you're going and yet you're driving an entire company with other team members that are trying to figure out where you're going and you don't have clarity about the destination in mind. So being able to get clear on where you're going allows you to communicate that better to the people around you. And three, you probably have taken a really long time to get things done, projects that should have been done in 90 days. They have stretched over months and sometimes years. There's things that you know should be completed by now that still aren't. A lot of these are symptoms of not having a good written plan. We started working with a business owner locally who had for years been trying to get their team in place, get truly stabilized so it wasn't so dependent on the owner. And he was just so frustrated. He had already gone through multiple different team members that didn't work out. He had even gone through advisors and attorneys trying to help him draft good um, commission structures and nothing really worked. And within two years, using a great recruitment process, actually compensating based on the things that really supported the owner's goals and the business goals, which he had to first get clear about with written plans, we were able to not only get him fully staffed, we were able to recruit a, a manager level physician who is now um, poised to take over the business. And he was also able to hire another physician to replace him in his hours. This has resulted in not only more free time for him, but his multiple of his business has doubled as well as his profit. And all of that started with really getting clear on what the plan was, what the outcome he wanted to have, and starting to lay out proactive actions to get there. So it's really not that hard to create a plan. Many of us think of it as a business plan that we're putting together to get a loan from a bank. But what we're talking about is really getting an operational plan so that you can talk clearly to others about where you're going and help you stay on track and be focused. With that in mind, there's really three things that you need to focus on. One is getting clear on the end in mind. Many business owners I've talked to do not know their end date, a specific date in which they want to accomplish what they say is success. Now you can go past that date, but it's really about settling on what does that end date look like and what's happening in the business at that phase. That then allows you to do the second thing, which is starting to back in some time frames of what that would mean, what, the, what it would look like. Say you set a 10 year end date, what would that look like in seven years, in five years, in three years, in one year, and get it all the way down to what needs to happen in the next 90 days. And that's really the third thing that you need to work through is what needs to actually happen steps, strategies that are going to support you getting to that milestone of one year, which contributes to the three years. So start taking action connected to goals by using those three steps to break it down into what needs to happen in the next two weeks to next, next 90 days. So if you don't wanna to continue to keep driving around aimlessly without GPS, being distracted by tons of shiny pennies, and wondering ultimately how are you gonna communicate where you're going and what you wanna to accomplish to your existing team as well as the team you're gonna be recruiting, then get a call with me so we can talk about really what's going on for you and what are some of those clear next steps so that you can leave our conversation with some direction that you haven't had before and a clear path to how you're going to get results. Book a discovery call on the link below.